You will not be able to stay home, brother. You will not be able to plug in, turn on, and tap out. How does the Dolby Atmos composer work? Well, we have some audio tracks. And these audio tracks go into a mixer. That's how it usually works. These go into the mixer channels here. And the mixer has, you know, the fader and the pan pods and stuff like this. And all this goes to a stereo sum. And this stereo sum goes to, in the end, well, let's call it like this, Spotify, because we all end up at Spotify, right? So, the Dolby Atmos Composer then um, breaks this signal flow and is inserted before the fader and will send your signals to a, well, let's call it a separate room. And this room deals with a lot of channels that talk to a lot of different loudspeakers, you know, that 9.1.6 or whatever multi-speaker layout you have. And the Dolby Atmos composer here is talking to, you know, this directly, this, this, and this. Um, where it's exactly going you can adjust in the composer but this part here is yesterday so that doesn't work anymore so how are you listening to it well um, Dolby Atmos composer either sends out the channels to loudspeakers via a multi-out audio interface so this is going to you know all your loudspeakers, the loudspeakers, here are the loudspeakers, many of them, or here's the bin oralizer inserted that talks to Correcto Mundo, your headphones, and that's why you can listen to what's going on to these loudspeakers um, through the bin oralizer as a virtual speaker setup through your headphones and that's um, how you do your Dolby Atmos mix if you don't want to in or can't um, invest into an expensive speaker layout like this or if you're simply on the road and you have to finish or start a Dolby Atmos mix layout and um, need to just work without being at your studio. Or, and that's also very handy, if you want to send out a Dolby Atmos mix to a client for approval, then you would use the bin oral um, file, which you can render out out of the Dolby Atmos composer. That's your bin oral file. And send that to a client. And when everything is fine, you will render out the big ADM file, which is the approved licensed Dolby delivery format. So that's it in a nutshell. And um, let's get to work and let's do it in logic. Actually, hello, there's one more thing. Uh, we just talked about that, you know, the stereo stuff your volume pods and the you know effect sense and all these things wouldn't work anymore with uh, the Dolby Atmos beam taking the signal away here and sending it into the um, Dolby Atmos composer but there's a better quicker way for it because if you come up with a bus system these are buses okay and these buses talk to the Dolby Atmos composer and you label these buses left, right, extended, left, right, center, 
LFE sides back top for example and these go into the Dolby Atmos composer and you have routed them through beam plug with beam plugins into the composer so to the front speakers the center the sides you know the back the LFE and uh, you know the tops and if you put into the buses the beam the beam determines where it goes and so you can send this bus to here this bus to the extended left right this bus to the center and this bus to the LFE which means that here your audio tracks go into your mixer that's your mixer and you determine that for example I don't know here are the first drum tracks kick, snare, head, toms, overheads that these drum tracks go stereo into this bus S into this bus so they will turn up they will show up on these speakers and just by connecting tracks after all your mix is done to the buses um, your mix will show up on the various speakers which is uh, very handy and um, how that all works because that may sound a little bit abstract here I'm going to show you as well in Logic right now so that's it for the moment uh, see you in Logic <laughs>